Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Theme Randomizer HMOD created by Defmods, who also brought us the Borders Hack mod. What this mod does is change the background or the theme depending on what folder you're in on your system. So you can either have it randomly pick a theme when you go into a folder or you can assign specific themes on specific folders. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So first thing you need to do is make sure that your system is hacked and I will have a hacking tutorial in my description for you to follow to do that. This does work for NAND users but it is specifically designed for external storage like a USB device or an internal SD mod. That's because these themes take up a lot of space so it's recommended you go that route. So for those of you on the NAND system, this is how you install it. You'll have to manually add this to your user mods folder and I will have a link in my description on the files you need to do that. So this is the file you're looking to put into your Hackchi and then user mods folder, this theme randomizer HMOD. If you double click this, then go to themes and then you're going to pick your system, either the NES Classic or SNES Classic. We'll use the SNES Classic. These are the themes that you're going to be using. Now he's included three themes, the European, Japanese, and USA versions. So once you have your files where you want them, you're going to close out of the user mods folder, go back to HackGCE, go to your modules tab, and install extra modules. And you'll see the theme randomizer mod right here. You just put a check into that box, hit OK. A bar will appear on your screen, and once it's filled in, it means that these themes have been transferred from your PC to your classic system and they're ready to go. If you are using external storage, it's a little bit easier. Once again, you go to modules, go to the Hackchi mod store. Under additional functionality, you want the Hackchi theme randomizer. You just hit the download module button and this will be added to Hackchi. Close out the mod store, go back to your modules tab and install extra modules. Once again, you'll have the theme randomizer in your list. Put a check in the box, hit OK. Same thing, you'll have that bar fill up. Once it's done, these things will be installed to your system. So when using a USB drive, you plug it into your PC, go into your HackG folder. In your games and saves area, you're going to create another folder called themes. I'm going to go into that themes folder. And once again, you're going to create another folder, depending if you have an NES Classic or SNES Classic, that's what you're going to name it. So we're using a Super Nintendo. So we want SNES. Go into that folder one more time. So you want HackG, themes, SNES this is where your theme folders will go. You just drop them into this folder, take out your USB and attach it with an OTG cable and you're ready to go. Using the FTP method, which is the method I like to use, you just have to navigate to a specific folder. From the beginning of the FTP menu, you go to var, lib, hackg, rootfs, user, share, and themes. You're gonna select which system you're using, and then this is where your themes will go. As you can see over on this side, I already have a list of themes that I'm going to put on here. So I'm going to copy all of these and just drag them over. Now, if you're looking to randomize everything, you're all set. This is all you have to do. But if you want specific themes for specific folders, this is the next step. Back in Hackchi, open up your folders manager. So here's what you need to do. Whatever you name your folders, you have to name the theme folders the exact same way, except you cannot use capital or uppercase letters. Everything has to be in lowercase. So here's how I renamed all my game folders, and this is just for demonstration purposes. Also, if you have your folders with more than one name, like if you have Nintendo Entertainment System, every space you have to put a underscore. So it would be Nintendo underscore entertainment underscore system. So we have Famicom NES, SNESJ and SNESU. We already have a Famicom folder, so we'll leave that alone. We'll rename this to SNESJ, SNESU, and NES. Along with specifying a theme to each folder, you can also change the default theme for when you start up your console. All you have to do is take one of the theme folders and rename it to default. Once again, it has to be all lowercase, just like that. So when I start up my SNES Classic, I should have the European theme and then four folders, each with a different theme. So let's head over there and take a look. All right, so here we are, and you can see the European theme installed correctly. This is my main menu. I'm not in any folders, and we have that nice European background. So let's check and see if the theme randomizer worked on our folders. Let's open up the US folder first. And now we have the US theme in here, great. 
When we go back, we should be back to the European theme, and we are. So how about the Japanese Super Nintendo folder? There we go. There's our Japanese theme. Looks really nice. I like that one. All right, so how about our Nintendo folders? Um, just regular NES. Now, I don't think this is the original. No, it's not. This is not the regular NES theme. This is just a theme that Def Corns uh, made for this mod. So you can see it's working, though, and the music changed, if you noticed. We go back again. And last one, let's go to the Famicom folder. And now we have the Famicom theme. So one more thing, the themes made for the SNES Classic are not compatible with the NES Classic. You have to get themes for that one specifically because of how they are built and how the system reads where the theme is from. Reddit seems to be a good place to find these themes, either on the SNES Mini Mods or the NES Mini Mods subreddits. A huge thanks to Defcorns for this very awesome mod. You can get it from the mod store or you can get it from his GitHub account. Thank you so much for everybody for watching and I will see you next time.